Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be talking about chisels and bits. The chisels and bits mod specifically, that's found within the Sky Factory 4 mod pack. Uh, the chisels and bits mod uh, has only a few different things that are part of it, but it gives you the ability to do an awful lot, uh, and it's one that's been requested. So uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So a few things we're going to look at today. First of all, we're going to need a chisel. Now, there are different chisels that are uh, available from different mods. Uh, but in the chisel and bits mod specifically, these are the components up in the right that will come up in the JEI if you do a search for at chisels. So there's three types. There's a the stone, the iron, and the diamond. Uh, the better the material, the stronger the and longer the durability. So we're going to start with just the stone chisel, which is just a stone block and a stick. Iron ingot and a stick would give you an iron. Diamond and a stick would give you a diamond chisel. Very easy. Next is the diamond bit saw. It only comes in the availability of diamond, which is two diamond and four stick. Next is a chiseled bit bag, which is a single chiseled bit of stone. We'll show you how to get one of those in a moment. Surrounded by wool, and the color of wool will denote the color of the bag. There is really not a difference between them other than their color. Next is a wooden wrench. Again, there are different wrenches throughout the game. This one is specific from this mod pack. It's two stick, two planks. And then there's a positive chisel design. It is going to be in lapis, bucket of water, and a paper. There are a couple of other different types of chisel design, but the positive is the most commonly used and the one we're going to look at today. Okay, so let's talk about how all these things work here. So let's go ahead and grab all that stuff. And I have here some polished andesite. Just because it's a smooth block, it looks nice. Now, say I wanted to literally carve this block into something else. I can just click with my chisel and it will remove basically a pixel or a block off of that andesite. See, I'm just yanking different pieces out of here and it makes all those little dots disappear. Where are they going? As you can see, there's one here in my inventory and normally they would fall on the ground and you would pick them up just like a normal. But I have one of the chiseled bit bags in my pocket. You right click with that in your hand you'll see that it automatically picks up any of the bits that fall on the ground or that you walk over. So it's an additional storage option specifically for bits. And you can delete the bag contents, items in the trash you don't want. There's, there's some options there. And you can condense and combine. What that means is if you have enough bits, let's go ahead and grab us some more here. Bitty bits. Bitty, 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 bitty. Okay. Condense. Okay, it can it can allow you to combine if you have multiple difference into a single block. Now, if I had enough here to make a whole block, I need way more than this. It would allow me to condense those into a single full block. Um, but in this situation, it's just going to allow you to take the bits off. So, how is this useful? Well, maybe you want to carve a statue, but most commonly not. Maybe you want to build some type of stair or pole or something that isn't available in a specific block type stairs themselves if we go into the jei good example these are all the different stairs in the game but there are multitude way more different blocks available than these specific ones so maybe you want to build your own custom stair for a block of diamond or a block of iron something that's not in here well, chiseling that away will allow you to do that now that can take a lot of time and if you want to build a full set of stairs that could take a really long time. Let's look at some options. So here we have over here, I've gone ahead and I chiseled one of these blocks and I've also chil chiseled some obsidian and put them back in that slot. And that's another thing you can do with bits. If you have bits, we'll go ahead and open up our bag here. Move those down into our inventory. Hold stack 64 down here. I can then place those bits. Set them on the ground. Use them to build something specific, and I can build them up higher. And then again, using the chisel, we'll just break them back down again, and put them into my inventory or into my bit bag if I'm carrying one. So we have some things we're going to look at. First of all, we're going to look at the wooden wrench. Now, what the wrench does, right click it, nothing. Left click it, 
sorry, right click, it does not left click, right click will spin the block, much like many of the other wrenches do in the game. Uh, this one specifically will move a bitted block and rotate it to a different setup. We have done, again, the classic six-sided die. Now, what a positive chisel design does, this is what we, we made there earlier. When you right click with it, it copies the design of the block you just made. Now, I just copied the whole stack of them, but we were to put down another polished here, and we right click, it will repeat that shape. Now, it won't refill the obsidian unless I have some obsidian in my bit bag. If I did, it would pull those out to build it. But if it's just removing, it will remove those blocks and put them into my bit bag. I could do this repeatedly. If I want. Another one and another one. I could then use that same design, even though I've got a stack of 64. One will allow you to repeat that design over and over again, which is incredibly useful if you want to do a whole bunch of something so you don't have to carve them all out and hope you get them identically. Again, stairs being a good example. And of course, go ahead and pick this up and move it to where you need it to be. Put it back down with shift right click. And then you can spin it with the wrench the way you need it to be as well. So that's a great option to just go ahead and make multiples of that. Now, I try to do this, as you see, on a wooden block, on something other. Well, it had to build it from scratch because it wasn't taking something away, it was adding. So what it did do in this situation is it took out all the wooden bits that were in the way of this design and replaced them with the polished andesite bits up to the amount that we had. Now, if I had had enough to build this whole block, it would have filled it in there. In this situation, it did not. So it's only filled up a little bit, but it used all the bits that I had. So you can even replace current spots or current blocks with copies if you have enough bits to do that. But bits themselves allow you to do a lot of customization on specific blocks, especially if you're building something, you want to have it very decorative, very detailed, you want to put your name in something, design your own specific sigils or glyphs. It gives you a lot of options and building stuff out of bits can be fun and incredibly challenging. The last thing we're going to look at is going to be the diamond bit saw. Now where the diamond bit saw comes in handy is in your inventory. If you put it inside of a crafting table, take one of these blocks, and I set it in there with it, it is going to cut that into something else. In this situation, it shows slabs. If we look at the instructions there, it says right click to place, left shift to ignore block grind, mouse wheel to polish placement. That doesn't really help a lot. But we'll go back to our the actual chisels and bits, and we look at it. It's going to tell us that what this does is it cuts on one of three axes, the X, Y, or the Z axis. So when I place it underneath, it cuts it to make it slabs. It would give me slabs that would lay on the ground. I would place it above, same type of thing. But if I place it in a corner side, it's now cutting it on different angles, depending on where I'm placing it. So it gives you several different options. So if you want to have a half slab that goes against a wall, you can do this. Grab that. Grab our saw back out of there. Now I place this down. I have a half slab, but standing up. You normally can't do with a lot of other slabs. And then with the wrench, I can spin it to the direction I would want it to be hypothetical. Again, the chisel bits, there's a lot involved with it, and there's a ton that you can do. Um, but this is here just really an introduction to show you how to get some of those things started and going. And uh, I'd love to see what you can design and what you can build with a whole bunch of little bits. Uh, but that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments. And I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any suggestions or recommendations for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you'll find uh, links to all of my videos and tutorials, as well as my streaming schedule links to my social media accounts, the ODG Only Dream Gaming store, you can get some ODG merch, um, as well as a lot of different resources and things you may find useful. So I do recommend checking out the website. Uh, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.